To Be Like Jesus, written by Ellen G. White. Behold, I have come to give you healing. I have come to heal the ones who are sick. Trust my healing hand. There's a bomb in Gilead. Health and healing to you. Enjoying Good Health, October 28th. Prepare a wholesome diet without flesh meat. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no recovery for the health of the daughter of my people? Jeremiah 8, verse 22. All are now being tested and proved. We have been baptized into Christ, and if we will act, our part by separating from everything that would drag us down and make us what we are not to be, strength to grow into Christ, who is our living head, will be given us, and we shall see the salvation of God. Only when we are intelligent in regard to the principle of healthful living can we be fully aroused to see the evils resulting from improper diet. Those who, after seeing their mistakes, have courage to change their habits will find the performatory process requires a struggle with much perseverance. But when correct tastes are once formed, they will realize that the use of the food which they formerly regarded as harmless was slowly but surely laying the foundation for dyspepsia and other diseases. Fathers and mothers, watch unto prayer. Guard strictly against intemperance in every form. Teach your children the principles of true health reform. Teach them what things to avoid in order to preserve health. Already the wrath of God has begun to be visited on the children of disobedience. What crimes, what sins, what iniquitous practices? are now being revealed on every hand. As a people, we are to exercise great care in guarding our children against depraved associates. Greater efforts should be put forth to educate the people in principles of health reform. Cooking schools should be established, and house-to-house -house instruction should be given in the art of cooking wholesome foods. Old and young should learn how to cook more simply. Wherever the truth is presented, the people are to be taught how to prepare food in a simple yet appetizing way. They are to be shown that a nourishing diet can be provided without the use of flesh meats. Much tact and discretion should be employed in preparing nourishing food to take the place of that which has formerly constituted the diet of those who are learning to be health reformers. Faith in God, earnestness of purpose, and a willingness to help one another will be required. A diet lacking in the proper elements of nutrition brings reproach upon the cause of health reform. We are mortal and must supply ourselves with that will give proper nourishment to the body. Behold, I have come to give you healing. I have come to heal the ones who are sick. Trust my healing hand. There's a balm in Gilead. Health and healing to you. Join us tomorrow for another devotional reading by God's grace. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as the soul prospereth.